So I typically show you guys my breakfast, but I figured I would show you lunch for today. So I firstly diced up a handful of tomatoes. And then here I pretty much have mashed potatoes. I just mix it in with water. I don't really like to use milk. This is three small potatoes in total. I put a little bit of salt, onion salt, um, crushed pepper, and uh, paprika for the color. So good, by the way. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back, happy Wednesday. What's up, how you guys doing? I hope you enjoyed my lunch. I also have Perrier up here on deck. I'm loving my makeup today. All of the details will be linked down below. I went pretty heavy handed on the blush and I'm feeling it, let me tell you. I firstly wanted to say a few things before I get started with the haul. So, first up, if you did write a Sephora testimony about me, I honestly really, really appreciate it that you guys literally took time out of your life for me, who am I really? You know what I mean? Um, just meant so, like, just, it just meant so much to me, you know? If I get in, it would be fantastic, but really just reading everything you guys had to say about me, I was like, I was really blown away. I mean, I know you guys like me, but I don't know, like, what? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I just wanted to say thank you so much. Also, in regards to filming in this space or in the other space, a lot of you guys did mention you like this little area more, but you kind of like that one too. So I'll tell you, for that one, it's more gonna be just for my Get Ready With Me videos. This one is gonna be like just, you know, holes. Um, if I wanna just randomly make a video, every other video pretty much will be here besides for Get Ready With Me videos, just because the lighting is better there. You know what I mean? But yeah, we're totally feeling this. It's like that like chilled vibe. I'm all about that. I'm not into the whole professional like situation, but sometimes I need to be in that space to have like everything set up and organized um, and then everything could be seen better in detail. You know what I mean? Get ready with me videos could be a little bit like... Anyways, let's get started with the haul. I know I did upload an Ulta haul a few weeks back, but I recently accumulated a decent amount of goodies that I wanted to speak to you guys about. This little box of stuff, but there are solid items in there. I'll have all of those items linked down below in the description box. I also did do a Ulta shop with me video that I uploaded on Monday, I want to say. Thank you so much and all the love on that video as well. By the way, I really appreciate it. So I'll have that video linked down below if you guys want to check that out. They have such amazing items. Next Ulta we're going to go to is in Herald Square. I went there for the first time a little bit ago and oh my goodness, it is beautiful. If you ever come here to New York or if you do live in New York, go to this Ulta in Herald Square. They're so nice there and like you feel like you're in a hotel. So some of these items are items that I picked up during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty event, but then some of the items were just not part of it. I just do it in there. Uh, the first two items that I picked up were these from T Tarte. I'm having a very hard talking. <laughs> I'm having a very hard talking right now. I'm having a little bit of a hard time talking right now. So these are the Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealers. I really do enjoy the regular Shape Tape, but I figured the Ultra Creamy would probably work out better for my skin type. This one is geared for those who do have dry and mature skin. Uh, the regular Shape Tape is geared for those who do have normal, probably maybe more oily skin. Uh, but I mean, either or could work. I know a lot of you guys mentioned you have oily skin, you love the ultra creamy, and a lot of you guys mentioned you have dry skin and you don't like this one, you like the original one more. If I had to choose, I actually enjoy this one a little bit more. I find that it is a bit more hydrating um, than the original one. It has the same applicator to it, same packaging pretty much. Beautiful on the skin. I like to use this for the under eye area or on blemishes. And a little bit goes a very, very long way with this one. I find that I don't really need to use a ton to get like the coverage I need. And it lasts, you know. It could crease a little bit if you don't really set it. If you don't set it, if you don't really set it. Um, so I would definitely recommend setting it with a powder of some sort. I just use a loose powder and yeah, I love it. I think it's amazing. I've been really, really, I have to say, I've been really enjoying this a ton. It's going to be my new favorite for the next little bit. I did go ahead and pick up a few items from the Tree Hut brand. I love, love, love them. Let me tell you, so their uh, body scrub is amazing. I've gone through tons of those. I've gifted some to my mother, my sister. They really enjoy it as well. And when I was recently in Sephora in Herald Square, this is where I actually picked up these three guys. Um, they had a huge display there and I was like, hello, because I don't know, I just wasn't aware of other products that they had. Everything definitely intrigued me there, but I did just pick up these three items. I wanted to also just test out a few, keep you guys posted, let like, you know if it's good or not, and then jump in and get the whole like line. So I picked up the Tropic Glow Firming Whipped Shea Body Butter. How? cool and amazing does that sound they have a few different scents to choose from i already used this once and it smells pretty good it's supposedly supposed to be a dupe for the brazilian boom boom cream by sol de janeiro is that how you say it or janeiro um and i will say i think the smell is somewhat pretty spot on like i get the same vibe but i want to say i like this one a little bit more only because i feel like it sinks in 
better like faster and you're you know what i mean like that one is good i love it but um i think that for this being as affordable as it is and for amazing as it works um if you want to get pretty much the same vibe i would definitely recommend this this does have the pistachio in here just like the brazilian boom boom cream and that's why they both have a very similar scent so if you've been eating a good body butter so far really really good the texture is a bit different a little bit more like jiggly boob style situation you know and the brazilian boom boom cream i feel like has more of like a softness like a smoothness to it but it still blends out well i like it so far um next i picked up the sugar face scrub also by the tree hot brand they had this one and a few other scents to choose from um this is the banana oat aha one I figured I would pick this up for maybe a good drugstore exfoliator. I haven't found one exfoliator that I really, really enjoyed, like a face exfoliator from the drugstore. Uh, so I figured I would see what the vibe is. Keep you posted. I recently did do a bathroom declutter video, like the like. <laughs> <laughs> I recently did, whoa, okay. I recently did a, a skincare bathroom declutter video and um, I really just kept what I wanted and needed, but I realized also that I don't have a lot of drugstore favorites, so that's why I pretty much picked that up. Um, and then I also picked up the Coconut Lime Moisturizing Shaving Gel. This looked amazing. So they had this scent and a different scent to choose from. And let me tell you, this smells so good. Yum. This just smells like summer. You know what I mean? Hopefully it's going to work out nicely. A lot of you guys were curious about this one when I showed it on Instagram. So I'll keep you posted. Let you know if it, um, you know, works well. If it feels moisturizing. If it actually like works. Definitely a 10 out of 10 for the scent for sure. Then you guys know I'm on this cream blush kick. I picked up two of these. So my friend Leah really, really loves the Milani blushes. Figured I would give this a go. This right here is in Coral Crush. Love these tones. Love these kind of colors. I think that they had three other shades to choose from. So I want to say four in total. I pretty much have a good roundup of cream blushes I'm going to be speaking to you guys about. Not way too much drugstore. So that's why I figured I would pick this one up. It seems like it's nice. Definitely has a very like emollient feel to it. And it seems like it's blank blending into the skin nicely too i think it's going to be the kind of blush that i'll have to build up because it's not overly pigmented right off the bat which could be a good thing because sometimes too much right away is too much uh so we'll see i'll let you guys know what the vibe is in a future video also a lot of you guys told me that you really love the honest beauty cream blush and here's proof that i listen to you i love hearing your recommendations so i definitely have to pick this up this is in the shade rose pink love honest beauty's packaging well, this looks terrible because I've been using it and I have to say I really, really like it. It's so good. It's not as emollient and like slippery, I would say, as other blushes. I've tried other cream blushes, but it's really easy to apply, easy to blend out, builds up well. And I want to say somewhat similar to maybe the Tower 28 blush. Tower 28 has more of like a smoothness to it. This one is a little bit more stiffer, but not in a bad way. Like it's good. It does also last a really, really long time. So I've been really enjoying this. The color is also beautiful. It's like a rosy shade, rose nude. And I just think it just looks perfect for a nice natural look. Plus it comes with the mirror. I love this so far. Next, I picked up the Peach and Lily Matcha Pudding, or is it matcha? I always say it wrong, I'm sorry. Um, matcha Pudding Antioxidant Cream. This says it moisturizes and protects. It is vegan, gluten-free, and cruelty-free as well. So I haven't tried much from the Peach and Lily brand. At the time, this was, I think, 50% off. So I'm like, you know what, let me give it a go. Also, a lot of you guys told me that you love the Peach and Lily skincare brand. It has done wonders for your skin. I was like, you know what, I, gotta, I just got to jump on the bandwagon. Packaging of this is so cute simple but there is a vibe to it too it comes with a little like uh <laughs> um I, spatula that's the word yum it has a nice light scent to it and you guys can see here it is green on the inside i just feel it feels nice i mean it doesn't feel like anything i've never felt so we'll have to see, but I have high hopes for this one. Again, a lot of you guys were raving about the Peach and Lily line, so this is one of the first items that I picked up from them, so we'll see how it works out. I'll keep you posted for sure. I love when it says New York, New York. It just, there's a vibe to that. The next thing that I picked up was just a restock. This is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Micro Brow Defining Pencil. I repurchased this thousands of times. 20 times at least. I picked mine up in the shade Rich Brown. This is my favorite drugstore brow pencil ever. I get a lot of questions on that. Ever. The best. 
I also picked up two of the ABH Brow Wiz pencils as well. Also really enjoy these. I've repurchased these also numerous amounts of times. I wear mine in the shade medium brown. These are half off at the time. Um, and I just love it. It's probably one of my favorite. <laughs> Thank goodness for the next one. It's probably one of my favorite high-end brow pencils ever because it's not waxy it builds up beautifully it lasts the whole day there's a spoolie on one side and then it's retractable on the other side of the brow pencil it's thin it just lines out brows beautifully and it fills them in amazingly too so cover girl and abh both amazing i would say the cover girl one is a tad bit more uh sh what's the word pigmented but you could still go very light like they're both my favorite so I picked the two of these and then I was actually curious about this right here from Milani. This is the uh, Microblading pen. So I've tried the ABH one fantastic. I've tried the NYX one fabulous So I figured I would give this one a go. It's another drugstore uh, Microblading brow pen. Um, I want to see what the vibe is like. I picked it up in the shade 140 Espresso, espresso, uh, which I think is the deepest shade. I really enjoy using these pens to kind of flick up my brow hair So it should have more of like a natural vibe. It's what I did today in my brow So it doesn't look too much, you know, uh, so we'll see how this one performs I'll let you guys know uh, how this compares to the NYX and the um, ABH one that I've tried I, if, I, if I had to choose one between the NYX or the ABH one, I really like both, but I'm thinking the ABH one is a tad, like 1% better, but the NYX one is also so, so good. Next, I picked up four of the KKW lip liners. So these are originally $12. There was one day where these were on sale for six. I know that these are super hyped. I haven't purchased tons from KKW's line, but I know that her lip liners are totally raved about. So I figured I would give them a go for six bucks each. I can't go wrong firstly i adore the packaging i love that it's so like simple and like almost like minimalistic in a way okay this right here is in the shade red too this was described as like an orange red like fiery toned color i love orange reds on me red reds not so so much okay so i'll pop that on but i adore orangey reds on my skin tone with my eyes i feel like it goes really well okay this right here is in the shade nude one such a perfect nude lip liner for every day these also by the way feel amazing super smooth can't wait to throw these on the lips next we have this shade right here in nude 2.5 so definitely a bit deeper has a slight brown undertone to it i think that's going to be perfect though on those days where i want to go for that vibe and then this one right here is in pink one i kind of wanted to bring back these like bubblegum pinky tone cool tone color they used to rock these so much back in the day and i'm, I'm just i'm feeling it again for these days so you're totally going to be seeing me uh wearing this often in the next Next, I picked up this goodie right over here. Hear me out on this one. So this is the Under Eye Brightener by the Ulta Beauty brand. So I've been doing a lot of research in regards to what uh, is the most comparable to like the Becca Under Eye Brightener. I know that Becca is going out of business, so it's not an item that's gonna like be available anymore soon uh so i picked this up a lot of people were saying that this is kind of a dupe and honestly maybe even a little bit better why does this look swatched but it was closed it was sealed i don't know i don't know it's the earlier i haven't tried this yet but so far it feels pretty nice it has somewhat of an emollient feel but also like a stiffness I feel like it's gonna brighten up nicely. I don't necessarily really use like brighteners often. I don't even know if I tried the Becca one, but I hear people raving about it. And I'm like, I kind of want to get into that, but then like it's not gonna be available anymore. So I figured I would pick this up, maybe incorporate it into my like makeup routine to see if it really makes a massive difference or if it's just like something that I personally don't really need. Um, I'm excited about this one. It was so affordable. It is retractable too. I think they have this shade that's geared for those who do have a lighter skin tone, but they also have another one. I believe that's geared for those who do have a deeper skin tone. And this was like I said, affordable. Maybe like six dollars and, and then finally palette for last i picked up four of these guys so firstly i picked up the urban decay soundtrack 2000s palette um in the 2000s i was just finishing up elementary going into high school i think i finished elementary in 2006 or 7 i want to say uh so i was just feeling the vibe of this they also have the 70s palettes the 80s the 90s and then the 2000s is this one this was on sale for half or for 12 dollars 50 i made sure to share it on my community tab so you guys can jump on that as well but yeah, I was so happy to get this for half off because originally it's 25 and it's, I would say not 
the most expensive for 25 but for 12.50 obviously much better uh the colors are really pretty maybe more full toned but we'll see um there are mainly metallics uh there's one matte with little specks of glitter but i feel like it's gonna apply like a matte i like these colors i feel like it's very very different compared to anything else that i have uh we'll see how this performs on the eyes urban decay is Formula could be a hit and miss sometimes, but lately it's been a major hit. So we shall see. I also like that this is magnetic. Depending on if I like this one or not, I might go ahead and pick up the other ones, but I'm happy to have this in my life. And for some reason, this reminds me of Hilary Duff because you, like a lot of you guys are like, what's the connection with Hilary Duff? So I just feel like, like in elementary, I'm like going into high school, more, more, more in, in elementary. Um, I was like obsessed with her. She was like all over Disney Channel. She was coming out with her movies, Lizzie McGuire, that whole vibe. So... Yeah, this is a special connection right there. And then I went ahead and picked up the um, Wet n Wild Heart and Soul Eyeshadow Palette. So I've been meaning to pick some of these up. A lot of you guys were telling me these actually like suck. So I wanted to test it out for myself. That's why I didn't pick up so much like so fast because I was curious to see like if I'm going to really enjoy this or not. I mean, it is drugstore. So I'm not expecting the world with this. But I feel like if it does work out somewhat decently for like the what? five dollars maybe it could be worth it i also like the tones of this one you get your neutral tones here and then some berry tones here as well perfect for year round uh we also get some metallics and some mattes so we shall see how this performs cute packaging i like that it's see-through so you can kind of see what's on the inside but yeah i will keep you posted in my i'll keep you posted video then i picked up two palettes from nabla so nabla is a brand that i'm kind of getting into everything that i've tried from them so far was pretty solid stuff so there was one day where the nabla goodies were i want to say 50 percent off i was like online i was like all right i'll get this you know boom half half of everything sold and i was like no so these were not necessarily items that i was lusting over but they're still really cute and i'm happy to have them in my collection however uh when nabla has another sale i'll probably pick up the other items that i really really wanted you know packaging with them is so spot on this is the cutie palette this is so cute i didn't even know that that's the name of it this is the metropolitan palette so here's what this one looks like. Like I said, it wasn't the first, my first choice because I feel like with this, I don't know if I can create like tons of looks, but now that I'm thinking I can throw this in the crease, crease, any of these on the lids, inner corner. But they do have a few other little like cutie palettes on Ulta site with just stunning color stories, I'm telling you. Uh, the Nabla formula seems to be very consistent, easy to work with, and um, like you can come up with really amazing looks um, while using their palettes, so. I'm excited for this cutie. Alrighty, and then the final palette that I picked up was again from Nabla as well. This is the Dreamy 2 palette, the Mystic palette. Gorgeous. I love it. It's like little, almost like rhinestones on it. It's not raised or anything. And then here is what this bib looks like. It's so nice. I'd probably use this more like for a night out because you get just really nice, deep, sultry tones in here, like blues and like greens and gold and stuff uh but we'll see maybe i'll use this for the daytime as well there are mostly metallics in here and only three mattes but i think that should be fine because the three mattes that are included are like the essential matte shades you would need to kind of build up the shade in the crease you know so pretty i'm just really happy that it's in my life and the packaging is just yum all right i think that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this ulta haul let me know if you guys recently picked up anything from ulta i would absolutely love to know definitely stay tuned for my i'll keep you posted video because i'm going to be testing most of these products out and then keeping you posted in regards to if they work out or not <laughs> yeah that's pretty much it i'm looking forward to reading your comments and i'll see you guys in my next one bye